Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy G Waters back again with another video. And today I got something that I've been waiting on. For a little bit of time, didn't take too long to get here. But have my Vada. Um, broke a prop, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that, but I broke a prop, so, you know, hey, whatever. But got my Vada, which I think we all know, but I finally went in, see if I can zoom out for you guys. All right, so, finally went and got my Axis 3.5 kit. And I'm just gonna unbox it right now, then I'm going to actually just start installing it. But I just wanna check it out first. Get that out of the way. Well, first thing we have, they gave me four motors. These are the C1572s. So these are the 3750KVs. Actually on, on this one, I actually installed the the first version, that the, the DJI Avada version with, it only has the three screws, the three um, mounting points here, mounting screws. So these won't actually work. I, I was kind of disappointed to know because these motors are actually pretty good. I haven't had any problems with them. And, but unfortunately, these are, these are designed for the DJI stock frame, so. So they don't, they don't work. And the frame that comes in the Axis kit is, is the more traditional four point, which I think is good because now basically once, once I do the update, I can pretty much put any, you know, 1407 or whatever motor on, on this Avada and I don't have to worry about it having this proprietary mounting point there, so. And I, my 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 vod is kind of dirty, but I didn't clean it because I knew I was actually changing everything up. So, but let's check out these motors and see if they're any different, really. All right, so in this box, you obviously get the screws and some stickers and yada yada. See, it's all it's in the box, and you get the motor. So the motors look very similar to to the version ones. Only, like I said, um, why am I trying to tear that by hand? Uh, multiple things to to cut this bag open. Okay, and so. And so anyway, let's take that out. And like I said, they're, they're pretty similar to the, to the other ones, only these are, are those have four, four, four mounting screws. But they look pretty similar, fairly similar to the, the other ones. A slightly different color, if you can tell. I said the new ones are the new ones are 3750s. The old ones I believe are 16. I don't remember what the old ones were, but I know they I know they had a they were a lower KV. I just can't remember exactly. I think they were may have been 36 3650s maybe or something like that. But I know they were a lower KV. So I'm not gonna take them. No need to take them all out. They all look, they all look the same, so. Uh, so I'll just put that away. I'll get to the main kit. Let's put those to the side. Uh, and let's see. And it comes in a, you know, they don't, Axis flying doesn't wow me with their packaging, but yeah, who cares? 
Once you open it, who cares about the packaging? Right. Okay, so this is gonna be, that looks like, a, I don't know whether to call that the bottom or top chassis plate, not sure. I wonder what it's just open as is. Oh. What's in this bag? Okay, so it looks like we have we have a bunch of screws, and it looks like we have also a USB-C extender. Because one thing I like about this thing is uh, if I could show this to you, this is the bottom plate. I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. yeah, and if I could get it out. I really work to get this stuff in here. Mm. Okay. All right, so what I do like is the, the USB-C comes out the bottom. So this will end up being the bottom of the, the bottom of the quad and it changes the location of the, the USB-C to this, this area right there. So basically, you just flip it over, plug the USB-C in, and it's not behind the prop. You know, that's one thing that I definitely like, and I will will definitely enjoy that. So you, when you need to plug it in, which is, which is good because to my understanding, it's next to impossible to get the, the, the SD card out once you do this upgrade. So, so you will be transferring through USB-C. But I have to confirm that, but I, I've heard that, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Not 100% sure what this is. It says, says guard kit. I don't know what that means, but I guess I'll know when I start installing. And it also comes with these HQ props. And if you notice, these things are massive compared to the stock. Um, I know I have some stocks around here somewhere, but if you look at the size of these things, they're, they're pretty massive. And these are these are four blades, so no more five blade. But if you see, these things are pretty massive compared to to the stocks. And I'm hoping they're a little quieter also because. Yeah, Vada makes the most annoying noise. And it's like, I don't even like flying it around my neighborhood because it just sounds so, so terrible. It's just a high-pitched, irritating noise. And if it irritates me, I'm pretty sure I'm irritating my neighbors. And this looks like some form of a camera mount, maybe for a GoPro or something. Um, right now, I have the bad idea mount on from Original Dobo, but, and it's it's pretty tough. You know, I haven't had any problems with it. I rarely put a GoPro on here, but I installed this one just, just in case. You never know when I want to throw one on there. And it looks like this one will actually, will actually still fit because I believe you retain this upper chassis, this, this part here, at least most of it. I think that's almost the only thing you do retain on here. So the way it looks, it looks like I could still use that. So I most likely will be using that. And these are all the, the wires that, that it takes to extend like the, you have to, because they, they also the, also the, the power connector is relocated also. So it has to be, so the wires have to be extended and there's about four different wires that need to be extended there. Now, in the instructions that I've seen, they actually want you to just cut the wires and then just solder solder the, the extensions on, even you know with the motors and also the power. So I'll see how that goes. I've had that thing taken apart before, so I've soldered to the board already, to the flight controller. So I'm not new to it. So I, I have to decide whether I want to just 
dig in and just solder straight to the board or I mean that would be the the neater more clean way to do it but I do remember that it was pretty much you know it was it wasn't a great experience taking that thing apart so I, I'll think about that as I go and I think this is a this is like a heat plate and I think the the maybe the the VTX sits on that or something keep it cool but I know it goes down on, on one of these plates and I, I believe it goes down on the on the bottom plate so I'll have to see how that goes but uh, clumsy but yeah it says center plate kit so all of this stuff's pretty much labeled so we'll have to see how that goes and, and then we have the the ducks and I don't know these they don't feel they feel like they're pretty quality um, I, I can't say that they feel cheap but I also can't say that I think they're stronger than than the stock one so I think the plastic the plastics on DJI's uh, Avada is, is is light years <laughs> stronger than these. Uh, I don't I don't plan on whacking this around too much. I don't do a lot of freestyling or anything like that with the Havada. I generally just kind of do nice sweeping, you know, shots and stuff. I don't really do a lot of flips and rolls, and I don't anticipate crashing too many times. I'm hoping that it actually takes care of that that tumble thing that's been going on even though I haven't really had that issue but I know people that have and but it hasn't happened to me I mean I, well I can say that I think it happened to me um, but it recovered from it and one time it hit the ground and this was when I first actually bought it it hit the ground and that could have very well just been pilot error in fact I'm positive it was and it kind of popped up because if I has this thing that I, I can't stand and I, I wish DJI would fix this but if it crashes for some reason it'll it'll level out and it'll shoot straight in the air no matter what so it, whether you you drop the throttle or anything it just it's like the air mode that, that it has. It, it, it tries to go into normal mode and it shoots straight up. And I don't like that. And it's, it makes me scared to film, film indoors because if I tap something and it rolls over, I don't want that thing shooting up into somebody's $10,000 chandelier or whatever they have in their homes when I'm filming. So I, I'd prefer to just use my center with, you know, my, my built, the one I built, but I would like to use the Avada for indoors because it, it you know, it, it's it's pretty sturdy. I like it, you know, it's and when it's flying good, it's good. So I don't know if that would help. I was hoping that last update that kind of dealt with the tumble thing would maybe fix that that air air mode type response that it has. It has like a I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a air mode on steroids or something, but it it hits the ground and it levels out and shoots up 20 or 30 feet. And then you finally get control of it again. And sometimes the gimbal's facing down at the time. It, it's, it's a mess, but um, long story short, don't try not to crash this thing because it just, it may come out of it okay and not broken, but it may also be in somebody's through somebody's windshield or something because you can't control it. But anyway, those are both. That's my rant for the for the for the night. But those are both uh, those are both things. So you get a kind of an idea of how big it's gonna because I, because if you didn't know, this is actually gonna make the Avada a larger a larger aircraft. So it's gonna give it a much wider stance and everything, so that's another thing. It's gonna give it a, a three and a half inch uh, stands, but I think I think these I think these props are four inch. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% not sure on that, but 
I want to say that they're four, four inch. Uh, and it's in a it doesn't have a size. Well, I guess it's T99 millimeter. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought I heard that they were four inch, four inch um, props, but I don't know. Okay. Not important right now. Okay, so those are, those are the ducks. This is the main, the main frame. So pretty much everything beneath, everything beneath this, this stock plastic chassis, upper chassis will be replaced. So this, so this here will replace that bottom chassis there. And then you, then you have that mid chassis, that one that fits the bottom. So, you know, I think, you know, I'm excited. I've been waiting for it. And also looks like it has where you can, where it tells you what's in the, in the kit and everything. Uh, it doesn't necessarily show you how to install it. Although I've seen videos on how to install it, install everything. So I'm not too worried about it. The videos look pretty straightforward. I, I definitely won't be going off of this because this doesn't tell you much of anything. But that's the unboxing of it. So. Just stand by for the actual upgrade. I'll be doing that on camera, so hopefully it goes goes as planned. I've, I've, I have experience taking the Avada apart. I've taken it apart a number of times. So I hope that translates into a, a decent time doing this because it's, you know, the Avada's really, it, it's not an easy, quad to, to, to repair or to, to take apart. I've actually, and I did sacrifice my my DJI Refresh <laughs> to do these things. So I hope it turns out good because I actually, you know, I, I definitely won't have a warranty after this. So, which, which is bad, but that's everything. So if anybody wants it, I'll put a link below uh, it cost about I say about one about 150 but I, I'll, I'll put I'll put a link to it and um, and you can check it out for yourself but it cost me about in the neighborhood of 150 bucks and it took about a week to get so it came from China took about a week so it wasn't too bad. And like I said, everything looks looks pretty quality. You know, most of most of uh, Axis Flying's, you know, most of their 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 products are pretty pretty straightforward and and pretty pretty solid. So I don't I have no doubts about this. I think it'll be perfectly fine. It's going to actually come down to my skills putting this thing together, which yeah, I, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good building, so you know, so hopefully everything will go fine. Because I, when I first took this thing apart, I thought I killed the the flight controller, right? but it it just happened to be a that I had a bad couple of solders on there. But yeah, I thought I killed it, and I and I went on a mission trying to find a, the flight controller for this thing and it did not work out but turns out i just it, it was a couple bad solder joints and that's that was the problem so i think i took it apart fixed that it's been working perfect ever since so so i don't i don't i'm not you know i'm not it's no anxiety i'll take it apart it's no big deal it's just a piece of another piece of gear so you know it's not open heart surgery but You'll be with me and I'll definitely, definitely hope you guys can get something out of it. So stay tuned for the, for the whole rebuild. Peace.